Minecraft player. So I am stuck in an elevator right now, and uh, the door is like this, but I can't, I can't get it to open. Ugh. So I can open that out. Ow! Shit! Fuck! I can open that outside one, but I can't open this one. Oh. Watch. I'm pressing the door open. Doesn't do anything. So I called the. Uh, I'm like hyperventilating right now because it's getting really hot. I'm getting really nervous. Yeah. Why? Why am I filming this? Because there's nothing else better to do. Listen. So. I called this number earlier. I'm pretty sure they're listening to me right now as I speak. They were trying to calm me down. I'm okay. Like, I'm not, you know, I'm not gonna die or anything, hopefully. And uh, they were like, I can get there in 40 minutes. Do you wanna wait or do you wanna call the fire department? And I was like, obviously, I wanna call the fucking fire department. Like, why would I wanna wait? Why who wants to wait 40 minutes in an elevator that's broken? My, my hands are shaking a little bit because um, earlier, I didn't even have the door open. The door was just closed, and the elevator was moving up and down without the doors opening at all. So I thought I was gonna suffocate, but now I feel a little bit better because I was able to pry the door open just this much with like all my strength, and now it's staying on one floor, luckily. And at least I can talk to people, but I guess all my friends left me. So here I am, again by myself. On a less serious note, this is actually a really nice elevator because they got these little like smooth, uh, glossy walls right here. You might not be able to tell from the camera, but this is actually really, really expensive wood. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I feel like James Franco in that one movie, and I feel like I should just cut off my arm for some reason. I hope that if I do die like this, they make a movie about me. That would be really cool. It's been about 20 minutes now, and um, oh, say can you see by? Okay, seriously though, I just want to say, God bless America. So I might as well just make use of my time here and try to do some workouts, maybe do some yoga. Oh yeah. Last time a lot of people really liked my twerking skills, so I'm gonna demonstrate that for you again today. This one's called twerking in an elevator. Twerking in an elevator, twerking in an elevator. You know how a lot of people say you can't put your leg over your head, well, I'm pretty sure I can do it. What am I doing with my life? I don't, I don't know where the fire department is. I find myself continuing to look at this door and like just wishing that it would somehow magically work. They can hear me? Yes! Oh my gosh! Oh, no, no worries. Sweat is the least of my worries right now. I'm free. I'm free, everybody. Thank you, guys. You're my heroes. Mm -hmm. Do you guys want a beer or something? No. <laughs> Love you. All right. Drink one until tomorrow morning. Have a good night, you guys. Thank you so Yo, much. Oh, my gosh. All right, so I am back home now. For all of you that are going to call me a pansy in the comments, you try being in an elevator, stuck, with the doors closed, not know where you're going to go for, like, even two minutes, three minutes. It's fucking scary shit, man. Not only that, a lot of people don't know this, but I'm actually claustrophobic. And I didn't want to bring it up while I was in there because then I would start thinking about it. You know, oh shit, I am claustrophobic. And then it would make it worse. When anything bad happens to me, I like to just try to keep the mood pretty light. Because then, 
it makes it not so bad. Now that I'm out, I can say that it was pretty bad. But back in there, I had to act like it wasn't bad so that I could trick my mind into believing it. Anyway, that is it for me. Um, I was gonna go do some editing right now, but I think I'm just gonna go to sleep now. Peace out, players.